Hi everybody, my name is Jordan. Thanks for joining me today for a 20 minute exercise ball workout. Um, so all you need for today's workout is gonna be an exercise ball if you have one of those on hand. We are gonna be starting today on your back, nice and easy, just kind of warm up style here. So you can go ahead and take it down to the ground. We're gonna throw both legs up on top of that exercise ball today. We're gonna start out just with some nice, easy, deep breathing, okay? So as you're breathing here today, I want you to try to do some belly breaths. So I want you to think about inhaling, pushing that belly up. Exhale, bring it back down. Keep going, a few more deep breaths. All right, now keeping those hips down on the ground, you're gonna just roll that ball in and out. It's getting a little movement going on here, making up that core a little bit. Good, just take it in and extend those legs out. All right, now it's gonna be single legs, so take one leg up and in and out. Good. One more. We're gonna go ahead and switch legs, same thing, take it in and out. We'll do one more like that. And then both legs extended out, both feet up on top of that ball. Arms just right down along by your sides. You're gonna go ahead and lift those hips up and hold it into a little glute bridge here. All right, we're gonna be adding a little movement to this one. So you're gonna lower those hips down, not all the way. You still wanna keep tension here, so just like an inch or so off the ground, and then extend back up. Lower it down and extend it up. Do that one more time, lift up and hold, 10 seconds. And go ahead, lower it down, hug those knees into the chest here for a second. We're gonna do another glute bridge again, but this time knees are going to be bent and you're gonna press those hips up. Hold, a little balance challenge with this one. You got a lot of core activation going on. Hold, and now we're just gonna do a little lift. So you're gonna lower down and extend it up. Good. Lower it down, extend it up. Inhale down, exhale, press those hips up. Awesome job. Two more. Then we're gonna press your hips up and hold it right here. 10. Keep holding. Couple more seconds. And lower it down. Nice big deep breath in. Exhale, release. And extend those legs out again. When you're ready, I'm gonna have you go ahead and press those hips up towards the ceiling. As you keep those hips lifted, you're gonna roll the ball in and extend it out. Take it in and extend it out. Feeling those hamstrings working. Good, three more. A 
Last one. Extend it out. Ooh, lower it down. Hug those knees into your chest. Again, taking another stretch right here. All right, now we're gonna take that ball between your feet, okay? Nice, easy movement. You're gonna keep those knees bent. You're gonna lower it down and use those low abs to pull it back up. Lower it down, exhale, pull it up, good. We're gonna go three more just like this. Take it down, lift it up, two more, down, up, last one. Take it down, bring it up, switch that ball to your hands. Take your legs straight up towards the ceiling. You're gonna lower one leg down towards the ground as those arms come behind your head. Bring it back up and switch legs. Lower it down, bring it up. We're gonna do two more on each leg. Last one. And a little breather right here. All right, we're gonna switch gears now. I'm gonna have you go ahead and sit up. We're gonna come onto those knees. We're gonna do what's called an ab rollout, okay? So hands are gonna come just to the back side of the ball. You can make fists or hands can be flat. Either way is fine. You're gonna roll yourself out to a little plank position. Keep that body all in one flat line and come on up. Roll it out. Use your core muscles, squeeze and bring it up, just like that, good. Good, keep going right here. We're gonna do three more of these. Last two. Last one. Roll it out. And come on up. Okay, so now the next move, we're gonna be going into a plank. So that outer position, you can stay on your knees just like this. Otherwise, a little bit more advanced, you can come all the way up and bring those toes on the ground. Your choice, knees or toes. And we're gonna do a little stir the pot. So you're gonna make a little circle in one direction pause and then switch direction circle it the other way just keep switching directions doesn't need to be a real huge movement with those arms good we're going to go 10 more seconds on this one and go ahead and take a rest. Okay, next up, you're gonna go ahead and walk yourself out on the ball. I'm gonna go this direction here, give myself a little more room. You wanna have those legs up on top of the ball. The further you walk your hands out here, the harder this is gonna be. So you can kind of set your own intensity. This is gonna be a little bit easier. As you walk out, it's gonna get a little bit harder, okay? So stabilizing here, if this is hard enough, I want you to just stay and hang out in this plank position. Otherwise, to make it harder, I want you to go ahead, lower down to your forearms. Hang out for a couple seconds and press back up to your hands. And we're just gonna keep going with that. Down to the forearms, good, and press back up to your hands. Again, if this is too much, you can just stay and hold a plank instead. Good. 
Good, nice job. We're gonna go for 10 more seconds. Finish out whatever one you're working on. And go ahead, take a rest. Walk it back in, give those arms a quick little break. We're gonna go on into that exact same position here and we're gonna go into a set of 10 push-ups. When you get done with your 10 push-ups, you can walk yourself back in, take a rest and watch for that next move. Go ahead whenever you're ready, take it out. The further you walk your hands out, the harder it's gonna be. Inhale, lower down, exhale, press back up. Count on 10 at your own pace. And again, whenever you're ready, you can walk it back in, take a break, take your time getting those push-ups done. And we're gonna be moving on to that next move now. This one is called a knee tuck. So there's a little bit of a balance challenge that goes on with this one. You're gonna walk yourself all the way out. You wanna try to get those shins on the ball with this one. For many of you, this is gonna be plenty hard, just holding that plank again. You can work on that. Otherwise, if you want that more advanced option, you're gonna roll that ball in and out. Tuck those knees in and extend out. Good. Good, keep going. Two more if you can. When you get done with those, once again, you can walk yourself nice and carefully back in and go ahead and take a rest, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead into some side leg lifts, okay? So you're gonna rest just that upper body on the ball, one knee down to the ground, getting your balance here, and we're gonna take it into a leg lift. Lift that leg up and hold it, pulse. We're gonna go five leg lifts now, all the way down, all the way up. Go ahead, lift it up and pulse right here. Five, four, three, two, one and relax. All right, let's switch it over now. Same thing on your other side. Getting yourself into position. We're gonna start with 10 leg lifts. Go ahead. Now we're gonna lift that leg up and pulse right here. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, good. All right, take it all the way down. Five leg lifts, go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift it up and pulse for five, four, three, two, one and relax, very good. All right, let's take a seat on that ball. We're gonna go into some walkouts here. So we're gonna have those hands just behind your head. Keep those elbows nice and wide, chest up tall. You're gonna go ahead and walk yourself all the way back, getting that upper back on the ball with control, walking yourself back up to a seated position. And just repeat this, nice and slow 
at your own pace. We're gonna do five of these. Good. Take your time finishing up your five. Whenever you're done with that, you can go ahead and stand up, bring that ball with you. And then I want you to go ahead and find a wall at home and you're gonna place that ball against the wall, okay? Kind of in that curvature of your low back. We're gonna take those feet out in front of you a little bit, about hip distance apart. We're gonna take it down into a squat and up. Squat down and bring it up, good. A little supported squat here. Two more, and then on that next, or last one, we're gonna go down and hold it for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come on up. Next up, I want you to try to shift your weight to one leg, balance, hand over to the other side. Back and forth, little balance challenge, take your time, hold it a few seconds before you switch back. Good. One more each leg, and then we're gonna do 10 more squats. Switch it over. Plant those feet down on the ground, down and up. Good. Very good. Take it down and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come on up. All right, let's take a seat now on your ball. Sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna go into some alternating leg lifts. You're just gonna take one leg off the ball, straight up, hands on the ball for balance. If you need it, otherwise, just keep them right out in front of you. All right, both feet down. One leg is gonna come straight out and you're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. Two more. And switch it over. Other leg, same thing, extend it out. Lift and lower. And back to alternating. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, good. We're gonna go eight more right here. Eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're gonna stretch it out. All right, this first stretch I'm gonna have you do, you can just go ahead and lean back over the ball. Just let those arms relax behind you and enjoy some nice deep breaths.
Perfect, everybody, go ahead and come on up when you are ready. We're gonna do one more stretch together to end your workout today. Both hands on the ball. Just go ahead and lean yourself forward. And feel free to add on any additional stretches that you would like to today. Otherwise, that's all I've got for you. Thanks for joining.